In this video, we're going to discuss the email to lead feature. This feature allows you to integrate Plan Plus with any third party lead provider. So to set this feature up inside your account, there's a couple things that you're going to need to configure. You're going to need to have an email template in the lead section with the name lead assigned. You're going to need to have an email address and the configuration settings, basically your IMAP and SMTP settings. You're going to need a user group if you want the leads assigned via round robin. And you're going to need to configure this in the admin page. We'll go there now. So you get logged into your Plan Plus Online business account. You go to the account setup page. And in the lead section, you'll see an option for automatic email to lead creation. On this page, you'll need to set up the email that you're going to have all of your leads sent to. So the best practice here is to, you can even create a brand new email address. You can use a free one if you'd like. Put the configuration settings in here with your IMAP or POP3. Get your password in there. And then you can run a test on your settings to make sure that it's all working correctly. And if we want to assign the leads based on round robin or based to a user group, we'll have to make sure and create the user group. So we'll go ahead and we'll submit the information on the page here and we'll go create our user group in just a minute. Send an automatic email to the assigned user. That's going to send a notification to the assigned user. And then you see a couple of other, other options here. They're only going to create the email if there is a certain word or phrase in the subject line. So if you happen to be using an email address that you're used for other purposes, you can tell it to only create a lead if it includes certain words. Or you can tell it to skip emails if it includes certain words. So you probably only want to use one or the other of these. All right, so we submit that information. Down below, this is a log that shows when the last time that that job was ran. Okay, so let's create a group. Groups are managed in the billing section under licenses and users. So if you've got a number of users set up, we're going to assume that you've already got your users created. And you simply create new to create a group. You select the users that are in that group. And then you'll end up with a, a group right here. So this is an act, a group that I've actually already cr created. See that it looks exactly the same. And then the other piece of this is the email template. So down under email templates, again, we're going to account setup, email templates. We'll go to the lead section. We need to have an email template with the name lead assigned. And this is, this is important that this template is named lead assigned. That's what it's looking for. You can configure what goes in the email itself. So if you want to add merge fields, this is just like building email templates. There's videos on how to build the email templates. So once you've got all that set up, You're able to select your round robin group. You're able to tell it that you want to send the automatic email to the assigned user. And then automatically, when those leads come in, you'll see here that I've got some leads that I've been sending in as tests. And if I go to the advanced tab, this is where the assignment is made for the leads. So you can see that this lead was assigned to seller agent Sam. We'll go to the next lead. And you'll see that this lead was assigned to buyer agent Joe. And you'll see that this lead was assigned to Keith. One of the questions that you may want to be aware of is that this is ran on a background job that goes and checks that email server every 20 minutes or so. If you have any questions about the timing on this, you can contact your account manager.